What's almost more for me is I don't want it to end. Because they're just such great. I mean, you're coaching a generational player. Um, Kate's a generational leader. And these kids are just finding ways. There's a tough first half. UConn's defense is no joke. No one, no one was really talking about their defense. Their defense is good. And we, we, we their defense wasn't bad. It was our offense. We couldn't go. And they find a way. Oh, man. And then to be in national championship games, man, I... Oh, man. I just, I'm so proud of them, and just, I'm just so grateful. God's just blessed us so much this whole year, and uh, I just, this couldn't be more grateful. What was that moment with Hannah like in the in the tunnel? Well, I mean, I love Ali Edwards. I think if, if sometimes you design like a prototype 5-4, her body type and what she can do with that 12-15 footer, hitch in the short corner, um, and just really powerful. Um, and when we beat LSU, I told Hannah, I said, look, you've got great practice. I mean, this whole year we played great popes. McKenzie Holm was one of my faves. Markowski from Nebraska. We played Angel Reese. I said, you are more than ready when we've been practicing. I said, now, now you go. This is going to be your role tonight. And I kind of just felt like she leaned into that. And then when I saw her start playing, boy, I mean, I felt look in her eye, and she did not back down. Even when she had a tough finish, it was a little wilder one. I mean, sometimes in her younger days, that kind of would rock her. Got back down, came right back at her, and I just told her at that particular moment, I said, you did it. I said, you showed you were one of the best bigs on that floor. And I just wanted her to own it because in about, you know, 48 hours, we got to go against some other pretty, really big posts. But this was just a moment for her. I really growth. I was also thinking next year, right? Um, but she just, she answered the bell and then some. And that first half, she she kept us close. You guys well, go into the half with, with 12 turnovers, missing some shots. Um, you know, an uncharacteristic first half. What adjustments did you guys make at the half? And, you know, what were you happy with in the second half that you guys executed? Well, I tell you, I, we knew this, and you should talk to Coach Fitz if you request her. She did a great game plan with that Connecticut scout. Their defense never got talked about enough. I mean, they were sneaky good defense. And they got Paige and they got a lot of these pieces. They didn't have a lot of depth. And I'm pretty sure Gino and staff are really happy they got here with that. And they're probably thinking they should have, could have won this one. But we just told them that was not us. We played pretty good defense that first half, really. But it was just the offense, you know, kind of. And I think there was a little bit, you're tight that first half. You're playing UConn. Uh, we really tried not to play UConn, but when you're on the floor, you're playing UConn, right? And um, Lisa was just really great, and she was calm and said, look, we don't usually have 12 turnovers. Our shots are going to fall. And then we corrected some things defensively we need to do a little better. And we just tried to get them to be a little bit more aggressive. I really thought we were on our heels that first half. You know, we were kind of a little tentative. Even Sid, who's usually our big dog, and we just said, Sid, you know, attack. So it was pretty calm. And I think just more instilling confidence, like when you're down, what are we down, six, four or six? Two, yeah, six. So it's two shots for Caitlin. And how bad have we played offensively? Credit to them, but tried to get them to understand that. And then they just, you know, used every second. We got there. That you moment on with you and Hannah when you came off the court, what did you say to her? I mean, I was just so proud of her because when we went into this game, I, I thought that matchup was going to be a big difference maker. Because I thought the stars were going to shine, Kate and Caitlin, and I thought it was going to be everybody else because they were going to be who they were. You know, maybe they didn't shoot as great of percentages, but they were going to hit big shots. Paige hit a couple big threes. You know, she did all Paige things. And I was just, that, that center matchup, it had to be competitive, in my opinion. So I just remind her before when we were practicing, I say, hey, I love our bigs in the Big Ten. Holmes at Indiana, Markowski at Nebraska, uh, Williams at Wisconsin. I said, you faced it all, and then we just got done playing Angel Reese. I said, so now this is your moment. 
said, now now we're here, and now let's let's have this be part of the story. And I felt she really practiced well. And uh, and, and what I love about it, Addie was so pumped for because Addie tonight it was all about Hannah. Other night it was Addie who kind of came in and made it hard for Reese. So I just reminded Hannah. I said, look what you can do. I said tonight you proved you were one of the best bigs on that floor. And um, I, I kind of felt bad. Too bad it was in front of all of you. I didn't want to make that the story, but I didn't get to see her out there. But I just wanted to hug her. I couldn't wait because it was just, that's a lot for that kid. Because let's remember, she's really a power four. And it became clear that she was one of our top five players. So we're like, you need to play the five. And, you know, no four ever wants to be banged and beat up. That's not fun for them. And uh, it, got, it took us a while, but we got there. And so when she got there, she's pretty doggone good. Coach, what did you talk about in the huddle with the last nine seconds? What was conversation okay her. well we were just um talking about we were trying to if we could we didn't you know if you can foul we had some fouls to give but there's an art to that everybody sits up there and it's really easy they got fouls to give you know do it here but you got to make sure it's not the act of shooting you don't want to do it right away blah 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 so you're calmly trying to do that and then um trying to remind them what the out of bounds place could look like and then um, just remind them everything. If you get the rebound, what we want to do, what we need to do. But it was just a really calm. You practice those situations, um, and you know you you try to simulate it, but nothing simulates a game. Um, I can tell you that because you know usually in practice, you know Carver's nothing. You know there's you know music somewhere up by a, an employee, but they they stay calm, cool, and collected. What did you, what did you see?